I've been very active actually on uh, transportation infrastructure in Marin. In particular, one of the causes of the backup every afternoon on 101, the Richmond Bridge, and uh, getting that th third lane that was built originally with three lanes reopened. Caltrans, if they had their way, and they will, um, wants to do an EIR on whether or not to open up the third lane. Yeah, and they, uh, you know, it, it was built that way. And of course, after the Loma Prieta earthquake, you know, it was closed because of the drought in the 70s. They put a pipe across it, and then they, they uh, when they removed the pipe, they kept it closed. And then after the Loma Prieta earthquake, they opened it up right away because of the Bay Bridge being closed. Then they closed it again. So this third lane actually, it is a third lane. So they wanted to take their time to do an EIR on how to reopen the third lane. Then after the EIR is approved, they wanted to then design the third lane. Oh. It, yes, you're, that is the appropriate response. So I had a, a, a bill to allow them to do the design work at the same time as the environmental work, and even then people were flipping out because, you know, how, how can you do this? And we, I had another assembly member from the East Bay say, you can't do a one-off project like that for your community. What about the rest of the state? My response was, where else is there a three-lane bridge that we want to reopen a bridge or reopen the lane? It's not like we're building a new bridge and we're not even building a new lane. So we got this bill through and uh, regardless of a whole lot of stupidity and uh, the governor signed it and a lot of people were working to try to uh, get this bill vetoed, including Supervisor Kinsey, who was not a fan of, of green lighting this third lane. He'd like to take a lot of credit for it, but he doesn't like uh, expediting any of this stuff because uh, I think he's just a little too cozy with the Metropolitan Transportation Commission, which he's probably going to get a job with when he retires from the Board of Supervisors. <laughs> I, could, I could keep doing this. This is fun. <laughs> Remember that time Steve Kinsey tried to keep us in a metropolitan housing des designation? <laughs> yeah, all right, it's just that it keeps on giving us more to talk about. So, you know, we got that through. But I think that MTC and Caltrans can open that uh, lane immediately. There's nothing stopping them. And they say, well, on the Richmond side, there's this retaining wall, and uh, you, you, you've got to, you know, you can't, the sight lines aren't very good. You've got to move the retaining wall. And I, I just look at the Presidio Parkway, the old Doyle Drive. They dropped that down to 35 miles per hour. Look at Golden Gate Bridge, 45 miles per hour. So is traffic at 3 p.m. or 6 p.m. on the Richmond Bridge going faster than 35 miles per hour? No. So drop the speed limit during the hours that third lane is open, and everyone's going to be safe, and they're going to get home to their families. They're going to be able to eat dinner with their kids, help them out with their homework and uh, get people home. But Caltrans and MTC just don't have it in them to expedite this. And let me tell you why. This is how stupid they are. They have a contract with the bridge painter. And they allow the painter of, the, you know, the people that do the paint on the bridge to park their equipment in the third lane. So, yeah, so, you know, you're driving by, you're, what is all this equipment doing here? Now, do you see equipment parked on one of the lanes of the Golden Gate Bridge? No way. Do you see that on the Bay Bridge? No, not a single bridge over in Carquinez Bridge, Benicia Bridge. No, it's just pure stupidity that they allow that lane to be used for storing equipment. So I met with the director of Caltrans. I met with the secretary of transportation. I, of course, met with Steve Heminger from the MTC and, and Steve Kinsey. And, uh, you know, I said, let's be creative, guys. Let's get this thing open. And they, they do not bring ideas to it. And, uh, and they've, got, you know, they've got no energy to make this thing work. It's, and, it's and there bizarre. there are people in this audience who wanted to take action on this, what action could anybody in this room take? I say we hold hands and stand on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> that gets a lot of people's attention, right? So, so, you know, I did another bill to get their attention. I said, let's dissolve the MTC. And you know what, the MTC board voted to oppose that bill. Surprise, <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, that bill's going nowhere. But it got their attention. It's been, you know, the, the contra cost of times, 
did an editorial about it. The San Jose Mercury News did an editorial about it. Of course, the Marin Independent Journal has as well. And it got a lot of people's attention because they certainly can do a whole lot of a better job.